Hey, um, does anyone remember an old PC game from the early 1990s called Mr. Mix? It's mainly a typing game, similar to Mario Teaches Typing, where you have to type words into a box to make the chef, the titular Mr. Mix, to put ingredients into a bowl. Unlike most typing games, however, this game is notorious for having an insane difficulty curve. The game has a words per minute requirement for each level, being as low as 10 on one level and then as high as 85 on the third. By level 5, the requirement's over 500, making it effectively impossible to proceed any further. One of the main things that people noticed about the game immediately was the background music. The music on the first level was a unsettling pattern of growls and groans that got progressively louder as the level went on, often causing damage to early computer speakers that were not designed to handle extremely high volumes of sound. The second level had no music at all, and the third level sounded like an extremely low quality recording of a hairdryer playing in the background. The remaining two levels had an extremely loud, high-pitched ringing throughout the entire level, which caused severe eardrum damage to those who managed to get that far. Another disturbing aspect about the game was the design of Mr. Mix himself. He was a large, round-faced, overweight man with large beady eyes and red spots on his cheek. Most children who've played the game reported having vivid nightmares of Mr. Mix speaking to them in a quiet, low, raspy voice, and threatening them to keep quiet about something. However, none of them could exactly remember what that something was. Now, one psychologist who saw many of these children reported being disturbed by the sheer amount of terror on the faces of the children as they recounted the details of this nightmare. Many children broke down into tears in the process, begging their parents to save them. However, no direct relationship to the game itself could be determined by these few cases, as not all children suffered the same adverse effects. For obvious reasons, the game did not sell well. It remained to be in relative obscurity until a few years ago when the PC hackers got a hold of the ROM of the game and started digging through it. Using memory hacking software, they managed to crack the game's code and bypass the impossible fifth level. What they found after, however, was extremely disturbing and caused many of them to quit the expedition altogether. According to the reports the hackers left behind, the game behaves very strangely after the fifth level is bypassed. The game crashes violently and closes, writing a bunch of files to the user system32 directory to the point where the RAM is almost completely filled. These files are reportedly pictures of people with horribly deformed faces appearing to be screaming in pain and agony, with their eyes appearing to be bleeding from their tear ducts. And their outer layer of skin is torn completely off in multiple places. The user, if the user attempts to delete these files, the computer will violently crash on blue screen, causing permanent, irreparable damage to the user's hard drive. The hackers found this was caused by a lone bite in the game's ROM that is triggered once the fifth level is completed. After removing the bite, you are able to proceed to the sixth and final level. Unfortunately, all the hackers declined to discuss what they saw on the final level. All of them became extremely paranoid and reclusive, refusing to talk to anyone or anything related to this game, and showing astonishingly extreme symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. Most of them ceased to be able to form coherent sentences, and within a week or a month, all of them went missing. All remaining copies of the game were destroyed, and to this day, no one knows what was in that game that caused so much psychological damage. Maybe it's better that way. Two years after the incident, a man was arrested after trying to kidnap an eight-year-old from a grocery store through DNA fingerprints and analysis. The man was identified as one of the original hackers who viewed the final level of the game. <laughs> he was wearing a white chef's hat and had a look of unspeakable malice and intensity in his face. When interrogated, the man would say only <laughs> one thing. I'm Mr. Mix.